Hi guys, so today I'll be working out here in the shop. I'm so excited, I love to come out here and make things. Um, as you can see, I have some old box springs behind me here. Uh, we were gonna throw them out, and of course I began eyeing these pieces of wood here, and I thought surely something could be made with them. So that's what I'll be working on today. I've got some ideas of things that I could make with them, but I'm gonna wait until I have them you know, taken apart, uh, see how many I have, and see kind of what works the best. The tool I'll be using to take these boards boards apart is this hacksaw here. Uh, one of my favorites, um, if you're at wit's end and you're trying to you know, remove nails or screws and they just don't come out, this tool comes in so handy, it cuts through anything. In this case, they used staples to hold these boards together and I could probably uh, get them apart you know, by using a you know, screwdriver or a hammer to you know, pull them apart, but it's gonna be so much easier with this tool. So join me as I work on this fun project and enjoy. So as I started taking this apart, I began to think to myself, I wonder if this is even worth it. Um, you guys are probably laughing by now, but it would probably be almost cheaper to just go into Lowe's and you know, buy pieces of wood like this. Um, it definitely took a little more to take it apart, but I think I'm gonna get it done. Plus it's that good feeling of just reusing something that you already have instead of going to buy it. So the best solution here would definitely be having a good wire snip, but I could not find any. I thought we had one, but can't find it. So I'll have to make do with what I have, and that includes the hacksaw, and some places it was just easier to go in there with the needle nose pliers, uh, snip it that way, but they aren't the sharpest, so it was a lot of work to get it cut. bloody hands and all. Has it been worth it so far? Probably not, but since I have put hour and a half to two hours into this project so far, I'm gonna keep at it. What I plan to do with these precious pieces of wood is try to assemble a little bench or a stand of sorts. I'm sure you've probably seen them on Pinterest already where people have them sitting beside you know, a bathtub with some rolled up towels or a candle burning you know, on them. And I've kind of been wanting one of these for myself. So depending on how it turns out, which I'm not sure is it gonna turn out or not, but depending if it has the right look for what I have in mind, um, I may incorporate it into our bathroom. For me, sometimes when I take a soaker, I would love to have a space to maybe set my tablet on. Sometimes I'll watch something while I soak. And I feel like this could be something useful maybe for our bathroom, but we'll see. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is get a nice even square end here. And then from there, I will measure, you know, how big I want my top to be.
I'm going to go with five pieces of wood here for my top and what I want to cut next is the two pieces that will hold these five pieces together. To fasten these boards on the underside of the top here, I'm going to just go ahead and use my air pinner or nailer. I have an air source here in the shop, so it's just so much easier to use that, but you could totally use screws. I would, of course, you know, pre-drill the holes before fastening the screws. So, so far what I have here are these boards are cut at 18 inches and on the underside these boards here are 10 and a half inches and they are two and a half inches from the edge. Now I'm going to go ahead and sand this part. The next step here is cutting out the legs and I do want them to be on an angle. I think that will just look better. I'm always a little bit scared of angles but um, I think I have this figured out. What I did was I just cut one small piece like a scrap piece at an angle. That way I can kind of see how it looks and if this angle looks okay, which I think it does, I'm going to go ahead and cut my wood to about 17 and a fourth. That way the overall measurement of the height of the bench will be around 18 inches. I know I should probably screw these legs into the top, but I just really do not want those screw holes showing. So I'm going to go ahead and just use some longer nails here and just put some into the side here. And I plan to add a little shelf on the bottom and I think with that shelf it should actually support the legs, you know, holding them together. Uh, we'll see. I can always reinforce it later if it doesn't work. So here's the real test. 
I'm giving this piece a coat of Annie Sloan Pure Wax just to protect it from any moisture, just giving it a nice smooth surface. So here's what's left of the wood pieces, and since it was kind of hard to obtain, I feel like I should make something with it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just make a little wooden crate or box with them. Um, nothing fancy here. Um, I don't have a lot to work with, but I'll see what I can come up with. After a few coats of paint, this little wooden box is ready for a label, and I designed this kind of vintage looking soap label. It is available on my Etsy shop as a digital download in case you're looking for something like this. Um, it comes in two different sizes, and for this box I'm using the size that is approximately 2 inches by about 6 inches. I printed this design onto sticker paper, that way I have an instant label to attach to the box. After being away from the springs for a couple of days, I began to think about them, and you guys know me, I tried to think of ways I could actually put them to use, and went on Pinterest, got a few ideas, and here is what I came up with. I think they'd make cute little plant holders like this, or you could actually add a bird's nest, maybe a little bit on the crafty side, but I like it. In fact, I like it well enough that I think I'm going to have them available on my Etsy shop. Trust me, you won't be paying much for them. I'm just glad to be rid of them, but they will come with a spring and then also one of the vintage butterfly tags and a little string of drop cloth. Um, I just think it goes so well together and I thought maybe some of you would love to have some to decorate with. Maybe add your own little flower pot or bird's nest or whatever else you can think of. Maybe a candle holder. So make sure to check that out on my Etsy shop if you're at all looking for something like this. As for the little bench and the box, I was pretty impressed with how it turned out, but was it really worth it? Um, as time goes on, I think it was, but I know at the time I didn't really think that way, so I will definitely remember that next time I think of disassembling a box springs. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and were maybe inspired to just use whatever you have and make something of it. It's so much fun. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you're having a great day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.